Please. B-R-I-A-N-M-C-G-R-A-T-H, Captain Brian McGrath of Ventura County Fire. Okay, um, can you walk us through right now what's rolling through your mind in terms of what residents need to know? Uh, well, right now, our, the local fire agencies, we are uh, staffing extra personnel and extra equipment throughout the night uh, and throughout the whole storm. So be just, I want everyone to know that we're here and we're going to be ready for whatever happens in the up, upcoming storm. Now, in the event that you do have flooding around your house, um, please be aware of what's going on. See if you can clear that drain. Go out, do prep work for your house. Uh, start taking care of yourself. If you are in an area you know you always have flooding, uh, go grab some sandbags now. Uh, get that set up before the storm gets here. If you provide a good defense, when we show up, we can help with the offense. Now, people are in the middle of this. Um, you know, they're watching this at 10, 11 o'clock tonight. They're, it's it's already, we're in the thick of the storm and they haven't prepared. What, what should people do if they're really in trouble tonight? If right now, when, if, when you're at home and if you start recognizing issues with your home, of course, call 911, get us out there to start helping. If you are, are in an area that uh, looks like the street's gonna be cut off, get out before it gets cut off. Uh, if you know your streets and you know your surroundings and you know an area normally floods, please get out early so that way you and your family members are safe. With that being said, make sure that you're uh, registered at vcalert.org. That way we can notify you of any kind of evacuations or road closures in your area. Now, you can also monitor this incident at vcemergency.com. That website, we've got uh, the evacuation orders, the advisories, uh, you can put your address in to find out where you're at in relation to that. Look at road closures, as well as all of the shelters uh, will be listed there. And our, locally, our shelters open tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And what about these evacuation orders? Are they mandatory or, can you, or voluntary? Yes. Uh, when you're looking at uh, an evacuation, when it's an order, that means it is mandatory that you leave. When we give out a warning, that means you know your area is under a watch or an advisory and we want you to be aware. If you feel like you start getting in harm's way, leave early, but you could be asked to leave in an order as well. So the Ventura RV Resort in the city is one of those areas? Yes, the Ventura RV Resort uh, is right, runs right along the Ventura RV. <laughs> yes, the Ventura RV Resort is right next to the uh, Ventura River and that has a very high tendency to flood with uh, just an, an inch when we receive an inch an hour. So basically really one of the biggest threats right now over the next three days is gonna be the threat of flash, flash flooding, dangerous flash flooding. Um, flash flooding would be uh, something we're gonna be concerned about. Uh, what we see more of is rising of creeks and streams and the roadways getting blocked because of debris and or uh, the flooding. Now, but the other big concern is the high winds that are coming. Now that our grounds are saturated, you're gonna add more water to it. You add these high winds to it, you're gonna have a, a higher chance of trees getting blown over and blocking the roadway so we can't get out. And that's what we are, we are staffing five utilities with two people on it. And they're, they're, gonna, they're very versatile, very maneuverable. They can get around, they have chainsaws so they can get these trees and these roads opened up as quickly as possible. How critical is it that people follow the evacuation orders or warnings, whatever's in their area? It is very important. Here in Ventura County, we do not throw out evacuation orders and warnings easily. We study and take very big care on when we give these. We understand that we, if we put them too much, people, it's called uh, fatigue. Evacuation fatigue, well, I've done it before and it was fine. Well, 
we don't do that here in Ventura County. If we're asking you to leave, this is serious, and we feel that it is very important for your safety and your family's safety that you get out and you get out now. So if you're speaking directly right now to the people of Ventura who are in these areas, your message? Please take care of yourself. Get out of those areas that we have deemed an evacuation order. And if you're under a warning or an advisory, please be prepared. Have your bags ready to go. Have your car backed into your driveway ready to leave. Have extra clothes, extra food, so that way when you need to leave, you can, as well as know where you're gonna go. If you're all, the way you always go out is potentially lower and the water could be there, go a different route. Always try to find two ways out of your area. You can still look that way when you answer this question, but what's the level of concern for this storm? Oh, um, we're, we're a very heightened level of concern for the storm. Uh, we've uh, staffed extra personnel. We have three dozers staffed, four, four hand crews, five utilities, and uh, two swift water rescue teams, as well as numerous overheads. So that way we can manage any kind of incident uh, that might happen. We're also staffing extra within our partners with the Ventura County Sheriff's are staffing more personnel. Uh, our emergency operations center is open. Uh, we're working in close coordination with our disaster center and disaster relief teams. Uh, so that way we can provide the best safety for our community. Thank Any you. other messages for the community? Anything else you want to get out there that you want people to know ahead of this thing? So when we, when you start seeing the rain come down and things start flooding and the sun comes up tomorrow, uh, you might, you're going to start seeing images that the professionals, the news agencies are starting to share. Please watch those images from the safety and the warmth of your couch. Do not go to the areas where we've just declared a warning or an order because those are the areas of hazard. Um, we don't want people going in and creating, getting themselves in a harm's way. So please just enjoy this storm from the comfort of your home. You're referencing what happened on Seaward, that, that big wave. That, that, yes, that big wave that, that came in. That uh, people, people were there. People were there watching the surf. Uh, the fire engine that was parked there was actually engaged in a rescue because someone else was in the water. Uh, so they were engaged in a rescue working and other people were there watching it. And then when that wave came in, it, a lot of people got hurt really bad. Thank you, Ryan. We appreciate it. Of course.